Hey guys, how's it going? The Android 12 is finally here. It dropped out of the blue and well, we were all waiting for it. Nobody quite expected it to come so early. I mean, Android 11 was launched quite a while back, but yeah, it's here and well, it's full of new features. Now, of course, a lot of you guys have been asking me how you can install it on your Android device. Well, first off, the developer preview is available only for Pixel devices as of now. That said, to install it, there's a very, very easy way around now. So without wasting any more time, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll be talking about how you can easily install the latest developer preview of Android 12 on your Pixel device. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to enable USB debugging on your Pixel device by going into the developer options and installing ADV drivers on your Windows PC. If you haven't installed them, do that by downloading the drivers from the link down there in the description box. Now then, let's move on with the video. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is open the web browser of your choice and open the Android Flash tool from the link given below. Now connect your phone to the PC using the USB cable. Just keep in mind that the USB debugging has been enabled. Now click on get started and then on the prompt that shows click on already installed. There will now be a pop-up asking the browser to run ADB, click OK on that. The service will now ask you to add a new device, so click on that and then select the phone from your list. In my case, it's the Pixel 4a, so I'm clicking on that. Once again, in the new page that comes up, now select the phone that you just added, which like I said, in my case is the Pixel 4a. Now select the build number and everything else. Now by default, it should already be set to Android 12 and everything else should be set into place. You can manually choose to wipe data and relock the bootloader if you want, but I'm not interested in that, so just ignore that. Now click on install and then click on confirm. Now before we proceed, you will get an agreement that if you want to read, you can, but I'll just accept it here. The process is now very simple, it should begin automatically and the phone will now reboot into fast boot mode. Here you will have to reselect the phone once again by following the previous steps so by going up, selecting Pixel 4a or your device basically whichever it is. Now if your bootloader is locked you will get a prompt like this to unlock the bootloader. At this point you will have to use the volume and power keys to accept the bootloader unlock request on your phone which is fairly simple so do that. Make sure to not touch your phone after that and let the system do its work on its own. The process will continue and it should take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on your internet speed. And once the system update has been downloaded, it will then be installed on your phone. Following which you should get a prompt like this saying that the update has been finished and your phone should now reboot into the new software update. Well, that was simple, right? I mean, there is a manual method by which you can go into fastboot and manually flash all the different images. But personally, I just find that a very, very tedious task. Google has really simplified things here and I'm really glad the way the whole process works out. So yeah, go ahead and install developer preview on your Pixel devices. That is, if it's not your daily driver. I mean, I'll be very honest, it's not super stable. And if you're planning on using Android 12 on your daily driver, don't do it right now. Maybe with the later developer previews or even the public betas, but at this stage, it's not very stable. So yeah, keep that in mind. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Also keep the notifications turned on because we're coming with a full video talking about everything that's new in Android 12. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.